Hi, I'm Rob with Bird, and I'm excited to share with you the tips and instructions on how to build wheels using bird spokes and hook flange hubs. Hook flange hubs make building with bird spokes much easier and faster, and the end results just look so much better and cleaner. No hub prep, no struggling to pull spokes through spoke holes, and you maintain all warranties offered by the manufacturer. The first thing to keep in mind is that wheels built with hook flange hubs are all built with crossings, just like hubs with spoke holes. The difference is that the first crossing happens immediately at the hub flange. You must keep this in mind during the lacing process to ensure that the correct spokes are crossing over or under each other. Note that 28, 32, and 36 spoke hubs must be built three cross, and 24 spoke hubs must be built two cross. So let's get into the process. Before you begin, get to know our up-to-date installation guide at birdspokes.com support. The first step is to calculate bird spoke lengths. This can only be performed with the bird spoke online calculator located at birdspokes.com. Enter all of the important information, ensuring that you select the bird hook flange radio button. Most of the hub measurements are exactly the same as any other hub that you've ever measured with the exception of the pitch circle diameter. Because there aren't holes in the flange, you'll take this measurement by placing the caliper at the center of the cutouts on opposite sides of the hub. The spoke hole diameter should always be entered as 2.6 millimeters for all hook flange hubs. Now that we have our spokes, we're ready to build. Today, we're building a set of gravel wheels using 28 spoke hubs in a three cross pattern. First, find your key spoke. We'll call this spoke number one for this demonstration. This spoke attaches to the cleat that's to the left of the logo on the high tension side of the hub. Spoke number one will attach to the rim just to the left of the valve hole. Pass the loop of the second spoke, spoke number two, through the loop of spoke number one and attach each to the hook of the hub flange. Next, count left 10 spoke holes and attach spoke number two to the rim in that 10th hole. For the next set of spokes, move clockwise to the next cleat and pass the loop of spoke number four through the loop of spoke number three and attach both to the hook on the hub flange. From spoke number one, count clockwise four holes and install spoke number three into that fourth hole. From spoke number two, count clockwise four holes and insert spoke number four into that fourth hole. For each pair of spokes, repeat this process around the rest of that side. Let's take a break for a minute and talk about the spoke crossings. For a three cross metal spoke wheel, you'll traditionally cross the spokes over, over, under. But with bird spokes, you don't do that final under and you just lace the spokes over, over, over. The high tension side of the wheel is now laced. Let's flip the wheel over and repeat the process on the low tension side of the wheel. On the low tension side of the wheel, starting with spoke number 15, attach this spoke just to the right or clockwise from the original key spoke at the rim. Now, attach spoke number 16 to the right of the original second spoke at the rim. Repeat this process for the remaining spokes. Proceed with truing and tensioning your wheel as you would with any other bird wheel. And that's it. You've just built an entire bird wheel without having to go through the hub preparation process, saving yourself tons of time and effort, leaving you even more time to build more bird wheels.